going on a trip to Virginia for a wedding. So I want to look my very best. I'm bringing my flight PAA double open comb travel safety razor. It's a four piece. You have your head, your comb, and your two piece handle. Pretty tight. It has an included travel case with scissors, which are fine, but the case is really swaggy. Everything has its place. Astra Superior Platinum blades will be coming with me on this trip. I am checking my bag so I am able to bring my blades with me and not cause a ruckus at, uh, at TSA. As far as software goes, I got my dot bag there. Fine accoutrements, American Blend, PAA CAD, the cease and desist aftershave, and uh, yeah, gonna have a hell of a time. I'm gonna clean up my mustache real quick. I'd rather trim it up a few days before the event, just in case I F it up. But I didn't, not this time. I'll bring that with me, just in case. All right, we got back from Richmond, Virginia just last day. Yesterday, we got back from Richmond, Virginia yesterday. Just wanted to share some quick thoughts about travel safety razors. I reached out to some of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of to see what other people are doing. And uh, what I found is there's no consistent thing, right? So some people will bring their least favorite safety razor. So if they lose it or leave it behind, it's almost at no loss to them, which I get, but I don't, I don't want to bring my least favorite safety razor. I want to bring something I enjoy shaving, especially if I'm going on vacation. Like, does that make sense? I don't know, not to me. Most have recommended bringing uh, not your most expensive razor, which I can appreciate that for sure. Uh, and some have recommended, uh, you know, bring in a three piece or a two piece safety razor over an adjustable. And obviously, maybe not obviously, but obvious to me, uh, I've been using a lot of adjustable safety razors recently and have grown to love them and hold on to them dearly. So I wanted to bring one. But uh, it brought up a good point that they might get uh, damaged in transit because of the mechanisms inside these beasts. Going from that, I should have brought, I think, a more aggressive safety razor just because that's kind of what I'm into right now. Kind of cool. I know. Fancy Greg. Using aggressive safety razors and whatnot. Yeah, I went with the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements double open comb safety razor uh, breaks down into four pieces and fits into my travel case which is uh, pretty neat it's a super mild razor and uh, it almost felt like i wasn't shaving at all when i was shaving which you know I, I saw the reduction in hair because my face was smooth and it provides a very you know gentle touch on the face uh, using the fine accoutrements american blend shave cream i brought this because it's in a tube takes up less space than like a, a soap like this like this lavender wood which is really nice uh, 
lumberjack edition and then i brought the uh cease and desist uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Aftershave that I got in their starter sample pack which came with a two ounce puck of the CK6, uh, a symmetry safety razor, and a green ray brush. And bang for buck, I think it's a good starter pack uh, and a good way to get into the PAA lifestyle if you wanted to, I think, to me. Because, and look how cute this little bottle is. And I find it more robust than the sample vials that they provide when you order the samples, but I'm sure they hold up just fine too. This just feels more substantial, I guess. And you have more to play with. So if you go for a longer period of time, this is a nice size bottle. I could have brought my big bottle if I wanted to, but I didn't because, you know, I don't want to have like a full check bag of like all my safety razor shit. But ultimately nice trip nice shaves great wedding great reception spent most of the evening chasing my three-year-old daughter around uh, we were outside on a like a pier next to the James River and I didn't want her to fall in I was like her bodyguard for the whole evening making sure she was saved and people, you know, didn't accidentally step on a three-year-old because you don't really always expect to see a three-year-old running around. So, and as far as the shaves go, I didn't bring like a scuttle or anything like that. I just, I borrowed a uh, mug from the Airbnb, did a face lather for all my shaves, which works out fine, especially with these shaving creams. You just put a little dib-a-dab inside your brush, which is the Rockwell synthetic brush, so it's, smaller than the green ray, produced some pretty good lather. So I was pretty happy. If you like wet shaving videos and you like a silly goose like me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't, uh, go ahead and subscribe anyways. Thanks, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.